I enroll for embedded systems. Introduction to data analytics and machine learning. So introduction to modern application development. Project planning and control. Introduction to programming in Sikyata. Why did the health research fundamentals? Introduction to airplane performance. This is my 11th exam. I have a certificate. I am an associate professor in chemistry at Pachayapas College, Chennai. Research scholar. I am a scientist in DRDO. Employed in a TVS group. I am a pediatrician. I am working in Chennai port. I am 17 years old now. Completed my 12th. Working at Yama Motors R&D. I'm working in the RDR Cancer Institute in Chennai. I feel much happy to attend this exam. The learning experience is excellent. Whatever the questions posted in the forum, it's immediately being answered. That is an amazing work what they are doing at really. With respect to NPTEL, the quality of lectures and delivery, the contents to the students, no doubt, unquestionable. And it's too good. The examination today I really enjoy. I've been traveling more than two hours uh, daily. I just hearing that entire video conversation throughout my journey, like not sitting in home. working in a different domain totally uh, like mainframes so the course which I took was introduction to modern application development so this uh, course was very helpful because I've learned new technologies the course content was very extraordinary to be precise even if you compare to other websites uh, they don't offer certification like uh, MIT or uh, any Carnegie Mellon open course but this is a very good initiative by the IITs and IACs, which can improve the standard of education. I was expecting to get gold medal by IIT, but I don't know it will be there or not. It's a nice opportunity for people outside of IITs to be able to take an exam that is conducted by IIT, so the standards are pretty good, obviously. I have learned more in these three months than taking some papers in the college. Even at the age of 50 plus, we are getting some enthusiasm to go through all these lectures and all those things. Another person from my college has taken it in another center and both of us feel that the teaching was absolutely brilliant throughout the course and it's not only theory, even practice is there. They, went, they actually showed us through the flight lab and they actually had very, very practical examples. For youngster, definitely it is useful. But this type of courses, if you find in other places, it is very, very costly. But here it is... A for learning purpose, it is cheap. For obtaining a certificate, it is only a nominal fees. I appreciate uh, the initiative of MHRD and uh, the uh, strenuous efforts taken by uh, the IIT groups for uh, providing uh, uh, the latest and uh, technically sound education on online mode. This is the first time I felt that uh, some course for uh, working professionals and uh, it is well organized as such. Nowadays, uh, doctors are expected to do a lot of research also, apart from seeing patients. So this course helped me to learn a lot. It was a nice experience. It's wonderful in sitting along with the students and solving the problems. Makes us to be more concentrated with the course, to have a better deliverability of the content, to the research trends are in par with the reputed institutions. This course is really like, uh, you no. Know, bringing a bridge across what we are doing now and what we are going to do in the future. This program will be the harbinger of a big intervention in India in the area of online education so that we can address the grand challenge of providing high quality and useful education to a very, very large number, probably the largest number of youngsters in the world.
I enrolled for embedded systems. Introduction to data analytics and machine learning. So introduction to modern application development. Project planning and control. So introduction to programming in Sikyata. So I did the health research fundamentals. Introduction to airplane performance. This is my 11th exam. I have a certificate. I am an associate professor in chemistry at Pachayapas College, Chennai. Research scholar. I am a scientist in DRDO. I am employed in a TVS group. I am a pediatrician. I am working in Chennai Port. I am 17 years old now. Completed my 12th. I am working at Yava Motors R&D. I am working in the RDR Cancer Institute in Chennai. I feel much happy to attend this exam. Bunny experience is excellent. Whatever the questions posted in the forum, it's immediately being answered. That is an amazing work what they are doing at really. With respect to NPTEL, the quality of lectures and delivery, the contents to the students, no doubt, unquestionable. And it's too good. The examination today, I really enjoy. I've been traveling more than two hours uh, daily. I was just hearing that entire video conversation throughout my journey, like not sitting in the home. was working in a different domain totally uh, like mainframes so the course which I took was introduction to modern application development so this uh, course was very helpful because I've learned new technologies the course content was very extraordinary to be precise even if you compare to other websites uh, they don't offer certification like uh, MIT or uh, any Carnegie Mellon open course but this is a very good initiative by the IITs and IACs which can improve the standard of education. I was expecting to get gold medal by IIT but I don't know it will be there or not. It's a nice opportunity for people outside of IITs to be able to take an exam that is conducted by IIT so the standards are pretty good obviously. I have learned more in these three months than taking some papers in the college. Even at the age of 50 plus we are getting some enthusiasm to go through all these lectures and all those things. Another person from my college has taken it in another center and both of us feel that the teaching was absolutely brilliant throughout the course and it's not only theory, even practice is there. He went, they actually showed us through a flight lab and they actually had very, very practical examples. For youngster, definitely it is useful. But this type of courses, if you find in other places, it is very, very costly. But here it is, uh, for learning purpose, it is cheap. For obtaining a certificate, it is only a nominal fees. I appreciate uh, the initiative of MHRD and uh, the uh, strenuous efforts taken by uh, the IIT groups for uh, providing uh, uh, the latest and uh, technically sound education on online mode. This is the first time I felt that uh, some course for uh, working professionals and uh, it is well organized as such. Nowadays, uh, doctors are expected to do a lot of research also apart from seeing patients. So this course helped me to learn a lot. It was a nice experience. It's wonderful in sitting along with the students and solving the problems. Makes us to be more concentrated with the course, to have a better deliverability of the content to the recent trends or in par with the reputed institutions. This course was really like, uh, no, bringing a bridge across what we are doing now and what we are going to do in the future. This program will be the harbinger of a big intervention in India in the area of online education so that we can address the grand challenge of providing high quality and useful education to a very, very large number, probably the largest number of youngsters in the world.
I enrolled for embedded systems. Introduction to data analytics and machine learning. So introduction to modern application development. Project planning and control. So introduction to programming in Sikyata. Why did the health research fundamentals? Introduction to airplane performance. This is my 11th exam. I have a certificate. I am an associate professor in chemistry at Pachayapas College, Chennai. Research scholar. I am a scientist in DRDO. Employed in a TVS group. I am a pediatrician. I am working in Chennai port. I am 17 years old now. Completed my 12th. Working at Yama Motors R&D. I am working in the RDR Cancer Institute in Chennai. I feel much happy to attend this exam. The learning experience is excellent. Whatever the questions posted in the forum, it's immediately being answered. That is an amazing work what they are doing at really. With respect to NPTEL, the quality of lectures and delivery, the contents to the students, no doubt, unquestionable. And it's too good. The examination today I really enjoy. I've been traveling more than two hours uh, daily. I just hearing that entire video conversation throughout my journey, like not sitting in home. working in a different domain totally uh, like mainframes so the course which I took was introduction to modern application development so this uh, course was very helpful because I've learned new technologies the course content was very extraordinary to be precise even if you compare to other websites uh, they don't offer certification like uh, MIT or uh, any Carnegie Mellon open course but this is a very good initiative by the IITs and IACs, which can improve the standard of education. I was expecting to get gold medal by IIT, but I don't know if it will be there or not. It's a nice opportunity for people outside of IITs to be able to take an exam that is conducted by IIT, so the standards are pretty good, obviously. I have learned more in these three months than taking some papers in the college. Even at the age of 50 plus, we are getting some enthusiasm to go through all these lectures and all those things. Another person from my college has taken it in another center and both of us feel that the teaching was absolutely brilliant throughout the course and it's not only theory, even practice is there. They, went, they actually showed us through a flight lab and they actually had very, very practical examples. For youngster, definitely it is useful. But this type of courses, if you find in other places, it is very, very costly. But here it is, a, for learning purpose, it is cheap. For obtaining a certificate, it is only a nominal fees. I appreciate uh, the initiative of MHRD and uh, the uh, strenuous efforts taken by uh, the IIT groups for uh, providing uh, uh, the latest and uh, technically sound education on online mode. This is the first time I felt that uh, some course for uh, working professionals and uh, it is well organized as such. Nowadays uh, doctors are expected to do a lot of research also apart from seeing patients. So this course helped me to learn a lot. It was a nice experience. It's wonderful in sitting along with the students and solving the problems. Makes us to be more concentrated with the course, to have a better deliverability of the content to the recent trends or in par with the reputed institutions. This course is really like, uh, you know, bringing a bridge across what we are doing now and what we are going to do in the future. This program will be the harbinger of a big intervention in India in the area of online education so that we can address the grand challenge of providing high quality and useful education to a very, very large number, probably the largest number of youngsters in the world.
I enrolled for embedded systems. Introduction to data analytics and machine learning. So introduction to modern application development. Project planning and control. So introduction to programming in Sikyata. So I did the health research fundamentals. Introduction to airplane performance. This is my 11th exam. I have a certificate. I am an associate professor in chemistry at Pachayapas College, Chennai. Research scholar. I am a scientist in DRDO. I am employed in a TVS group. I am a pediatrician. I am working in Chennai Port. I am 17 years old now. Completed my 12th. I am working at Yama Motors R&D. I am working in the RDR Cancer Institute in Chennai. I feel much happy to attend this exam. Bunny experience is excellent. Whatever the questions posted in the forum, it's immediately being answered. That is an amazing work what they are doing at really. With respect to NPTEL, the quality of lectures and delivery, the contents to the students, no doubt, unquestionable. And it's too good. The examination today, I really enjoy. I've been traveling more than two hours uh, daily. I was just hearing that entire video conversation throughout my journey, like not sitting in the home. was working in a different domain totally uh, like mainframes so the course which I took was introduction to modern application development so this uh, course was very helpful because I've learned new technologies the course content was very extraordinary to be precise even if you compare to other websites uh, they don't offer certification like uh, MIT or uh, any Carnegie Mellon open course but this is a very good initiative by the IITs and IACs which can improve the standard of education I was expecting to get gold medal by IIT, but I don't know it will be there or not. It's a nice opportunity for people outside of IITs to be able to take an exam that is conducted by IIT, so the standards are pretty good, obviously. I have learned more in these three months than taking some papers in the college. Even at the age of 50 plus, we are getting some enthusiasm to go through all these lectures and all those things. Another person from my college has taken it in another center, and both of Our studio team will let you start our live. Yeah, it is live. Please start. Okay, sir. Sati, sir, you can start. Okay, madam. Good morning. A warm welcome to one and all present here for today's program. Today, we all are here for NPTEL Awareness e workshop organized by Maharshi Parshuram College of Engineering, Vaineshwar, Ratnagiri, Maharashtra, and Government Motilal Vidyan Mahavidyalai, Bhopal, Madhya Pradesh, in collaboration with NPT. I am Mr. Satish Gorpade, HOD Electrical Engineering Department of MPCOE Vaineshwar, Ratnagiri, and here to brief you all about today's program. Friends, Government of India initiated Swayam program to achieve three credential principles of education. That is access, equity, and quality. The objective of this effort is to take the best teaching learning resources to all, including the most disadvantaged. In order to ensure that best quality content is produced and delivered, nine national coordinators have been appointed and NPTEL is one of it. NPTEL, that is a national program on technology enhanced learning, was initiated by seven Indian institutes of technology, that is IIT Bombay, IIT Delhi, IIT Kanpur, IIT Kharagpur, IIT Madras, Guwahati, and Rurki, along with Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore, in year 2003. Since last around 18 to 19 years, we all are getting a best quality content on fingertip at free of cost due to tremendous effort 
of all the faculties and team of IITs and NPTEL. Recently, NPTEL has added many good features along with the courses which will be beneficial for students. Though NPTEL is most access library of peer-reviewed educational content in the world, still many of us are not knowing all about this excellent program. And we need to create awareness among students as well as faculties. By keeping this purpose in mind, we, Maharshi Parashram College of Engineering, Vaineshwar, and Government Motilal Vigyan Mahavidyalaya Bhopal together has organized this program in collaboration with NPC. MPCV has established local chapter with ID 2116 in year 2016. The main purpose of this program is to make you all aware about NPTEL courses, its certification, faculty development programs, job-oriented courses, soft skill workshops, NPTEL stars, NPTEL local chapters, NPTEL industry associate, lab workshops for hands-on experience, internships for students, preparation for gate exams, and many more. You all can get all your doubts cleared through this program. Now, I would like to give a brief introduction about my institutes, that is BPM's Maharshi Parashuram College of Engineering, Ratnagiri, Maharashtra. MPCOE is established in year 2012 by Vidya Prasarak Mandar Thane. VPM Thane is registered charitable trust working in the field of education in Thane for last around 85 years, that is from 1935. In order to spread quality education in rural India, VPM established MPCOE in year 2012 in Konkan region. It has around 37, 37 acre campus situated in the lap of nature at only two kilometer from well nature beach of Konkan with excellent atmosphere for study. We have five branches named electrical, mechanical, civil, instrumentation and ENTS. It is youngest engineering institutes in a Mumbai university who is accredited by NAC. Now, I would like to request Dr. Alka Pradhan, Professor, Government Motilal Vigyan Mahavidyalaya, to give introduction about their institutes. Thank you. Over to you, madam. I am audible, sir. Yes, madam, you are audible. Uh, so, a uh, very good morning from the uh, team MVM, that is Motilal Vigyan Mahavidyalaya Bhopal. So, uh, sir, we are very pleased uh, uh, to um, and very humbly we accept your uh, this program and I am very happy that NPTEL has started a nodal center in our college. I am just giving you the brief uh, of my uh, college that is Government Mutila Vigyan Mahavidyalaya. So, Government Mutila Vigyan Mahavidyalaya is a science college affiliated to Barkatullah University and is under the Department of Higher Education uh, that is governed by the uh, Government of MP. We have 17 different combinations of subject. Uh, uh, 10 out of 10 are traditional courses and 7 courses are <clears throat> Uh, some uh, self-financed and special courses. Uh, we have a vision of enhancing the future of our students. We want our students to compete and excel a global platform. We have students from rural background also and very remote areas. We want to give them exposure about modern elements of science. Yeah, that's why we want to uh, uh, associate with the NPTEL. We want to associate ourselves with NPTEL as this occasion will enable us to fulfill our vision. We have amongst us Dr. Pooja Gupta, who has played an instrumental role in getting students to sign up for various courses with NPTEL. 
Before her joining, we had only one student enrolled with NPTEL. But now, this time, about 40 of our students are enrolled with NPTEL and that is too in COVID era. We hope many more will follow in the near future. We want to thank our principal, Dr. Mahindra Singh, who has left no stone unturned for the betterment of the college and student and so on. So thank you so much. That's the brief of my college. Now I would like to request Dr. Pooja Gupta to brief our today's resource person. Thank you, Shatish sir. Good morning to one and all present here. I'm here to give a brief introduction of our today's resource person. Today, we have with us Mr. Shib Sankar Das. Mr. Mr. Shib Sankar Das works as a network engineer at IIT Kharagpur. He did his master's degree from the same institute with specialization in microelectronics and VLSI design. Before joining IIT Kharagpur, Mr. Das has served in the Indian Air Force as an airman in the Technical Trade and Punjab State Industrial Development Corporation as an executive engineer. During his tenure in IIT Kharagpur, he has also worked in the Biomedical Instrumentation Research Group and has two Indian patents in the area of low-cost Doppler ultrasound system and non-invasive blood glucose monitoring system, along with other members of the group. Since 2016, Mr. Das is associated with the NPTEL activities of IIT Kharagpur and has been actively participating in raising the awareness of the program in the eastern parts of the country. I hope you all will enjoy this session. Over to Mr. Shib Sankar Das. Uh, good morning, ma'am. Uh, good morning. Good morning to everyone who is connected to the program, uh, particularly the SPOCs, the faculty members, the students who have taken the initiative to organize the program on behalf of NP. Um, during this uh, uh, talk, we'll try to cover some of the aspects of NPTEL that has been already referred to by my earlier speaker. Uh, let me share my slide and straightway go back to the presentation. Can you kindly confirm whether my screen is visible to you? Yes, sir, it is yeah. visible. Yeah, sir, it's visible. So uh, during the next uh, two hours or so, I'll be touching upon, this is the brief outline of the talk. Uh, the introduction part has already been talked about by the early. I'll just go through the APTL online certification process. This is not for the people, those who are already aware of it, but definitely for completeness of the program, we'll be starting from how enrollment process starts. The courses that we offer, Till the certification process is completed, what are the steps the candidates will be going through? I'll touch upon everything. Then the timelines. Uh, currently, we are offering some courses during January and how these uh, courses are scheduled uh, in the timeline. How NPTEL courses can be useful? Because every time people may ask, okay, why I'm doing my uh, regular curriculum or regular courses to get my either BA, BSc, BCom or B degrees from my college, but why then should I uh, take something extra? Okay, we'll touch upon on that also, like why people should consider uh, mandated by the college for credit transfer or else uh, it's at least for the career path, why they should consider this. Then the domain certification concept, the internship opportunities with the faculties in IIT system, how NPTEL courses can be useful or beneficial for better preparation of Competitive exams like Indian Engineering Services, GATE, uh, NATE, or, or any exam there. You see, credit transfer processes uh, by the uh, adopted by uh, the autonomous colleges or university systems. The soft skill training that we conduct or the soft skill workshops that we uh, conduct for the students and the faculty development program. So this will be the brief outline of the talk. 
uh, it should not be one way talk so i would definitely encourage people to post their queries on the youtube critically during the course of the talk i'll also pick up the few questions from the youtube and try to answer to the queries everything at the for the end okay now let's start uh, as has been mentioned that nptel is a uh, you can say umbrella body of say older iits and isc bangalore which started its journey in 2003 uh, under the support of financial support from the dadin ministry of human resource development government of india uh, now its ministry of education so during the 2003 to 2021 in operate in the initial days 2003 to 2013 we just developed the courses and made it available for the learner community so the classroom recordings from iit faculties what they were teaching to their students were recorded and made available to the outside world primarily through nptel.sc.in or through youtube channel that is nptel hrt channel of nptel in youtube or sometimes in the early days we to hard disk or maybe cd rom drives and all whatever from 2014 we changed our strategy of offering the courses instead of offering the courses in a recorded form we provided an opportunity so that the learner after completion of the course can get a tangible output in the form of a certificate to say the outside world see i have done this certification course from iit and this is my level of understanding of the course so from 2014 as a pilot phase iit started uh, a new era of offering online certification programs which was later scaled up in the swayam form in 2016 by the ministry so during this 2003 to 2021 we have created more than 2300 online courses or you can say nptel courses as a whole these courses are distributed through one of the major area is through nptel hrd channel in youtube you can see the number of subscriptions and the number of viewers this is purely an academic channel not entertainment one but still the number of subscrib subscribers more than 3.7 million speaks the popularity of nptel courses not only within india but across the globe now as we said that we started our journey in 2003 with two primarily with one course later on adding two more courses during 2014 in total we offered about three courses i'll show you the numbers later what we where we stand today okay so now 2016 the nptel online certification model was adopted by the ministry and created a larger umbrella called swayam which is an acronym again study waves of active learning for the young aspiring minds under this this was the platform which was created to cater to the needs of each and every individual who is interested to learn on their own so we have got as uh, one of the college of today's program deals with um, basic sciences whereas the other college deals with engineering so the requirement of both the college is slightly different so it was felt that okay since we have got lot of diversity in the programs lot of diversity in the age group of the learners so possibly one particular agency will not be able to cater to the needs of all segment of learners so they created eight nine national coordinators so that each one is focusing on a particular segment say if there is a a student from school k12 up to class 12 if they are interested to take a course then the agencies like nius national institute of open schooling and ncert was interested to offer the courses aligning with their requirement then if they are in the graduate undergraduate program the undergraduate program could be in the basic sciences or you can say non engineering non management could be engineering could be management so if it is for the non engineering non management then cc was interested to offer courses from that if it was for non engineering non management post graduate program then ugc came into picture so they were the national coordinators primarily for catering to the needs of general education if it is switching to engineering education then nptel 
was the coordinator for offering UG level and PG level uh, engineering curriculum. Okay, our courses. For the management, it was IIM Bangalore, which was given the responsibility. But since each IIT has got their own uh, basic sciences discipline, humanities and social science disciplines, as well as management programs offered in their as part of the regular curriculum. So we are also offering courses from all these areas too, which perfectly aligns with the requirement of the general degree colleges like one of the organizers of today. So we are not only offering our courses from the engineering, we are offering the courses from basic sciences, humanities, social sciences, management, and to some extent law also we are offering. Then IGNO has been offering the courses from diploma or you can say certification program that they will continue to do that. If it is for the teacher's training, for general teacher's training, NITTR is there. We'll be offering BLEA, DLA type of courses. And AICT will be offering the courses in the form of RPIT, which is the teacher's training program in the engineering college, annual refresher training program for the teachers. So these were the agencies which was created to offer online certification programs through a single window, which is Swayam. How do the courses are structured? These courses are structured in a different approach. All courses in Swayam are following the four quadrant approach. It's nothing new. The faculty members in a college also follows the same four quadrant approach. Now, if you just look into the four quadrants, say you are teaching into the to the students in a class, or the students are receiving the face-to-face -face lecture from a uh, teacher in a classroom setting. If we start recording the lectures from the backside of the student, putting a camera at the backside of the student and record the lecture delivered by the faculty using different multimedia resources, that and make this content available to the students, this become my first quadrant which is the recorded version of the classroom lectures. In the classroom setting, what goes on in addition to the lecture delivery, the teacher will be also interacting with the students. Theoretically asking them question or the students will be interrupting the teacher and asking their doubts. So that flavor is also incorporated here. But since this is offered in a MOOCs model, which is again an acronym, massive open online, courses. Massive means the number of students who can enroll into the course is not limited by the capacity of a brick and mortar classroom. That means it can be 100 students or hundreds of students, hundreds of thousands of students. We have some courses where you have got 35, 40, 50,000 students enrolling every semester. So that number is not limited. So it's a massive. Courses are open. That means Anyone having interest to learn should be able to access the contents. But how do they access the content? How do they access that content? If they have an internet connectivity, then they'll be able to access the content. So the delivery of the content takes place over online. That's the third alphabet O, online. So content delivery takes place over online or internet. Last C is courses. This is structured in the same way as that of your regular courses. That is, it has a fixed syllabus. It has a start date. It has an end date. Every week, what course contents are to be delivered, whether it's a two hours, three hours, four hours, that is also structured. In addition to the classroom uh, delivery, all other activities that you take care in a regular classroom, that was also taken care of. There is a periodical assessment. At the end, there is an examination and certification process. The whole flavor of regular classroom is also incorporated here. So in addition to the lectures, which are recorded and handed over to the learners through or distributed to the learners through online mode, through internet, we do provide a face-to-face, -face, a substitute of face-to-face -face interaction that takes place in a classroom setting. How do that take place? After going through the recorded lecture, the student, if they have any doubt, what they do in a classroom, they'll directly interrupt the teacher and ask. But here, if they have a doubt, they'll post their queries in a blog. In the portal, there is a blog format like where they can post their queries 
which will be answered by the faculty. So that's how interaction takes place. In addition to the interaction and video, sometimes the faculty will be interested to share some notes, supplementary study materials in the form of maybe PowerPoint slides, uh, maybe handwritten notes, links to free wiki resources. We do provide the same thing here also. Okay, so that becomes the third quadrant. At the end, every week, as the teacher in a regular university system might be interested to conduct class test on a periodical basis, here it is mandatory. That is, every week, there is a component of element of self-assessment. What they do, set of questions, which needs to be answered by the uh, enrolled and learners so that on uh, submission of the uh, assignments, which will be graded, the student will be able to understand uh, or able to judge what is his level of understanding based on the performance score, what they have obtained. So these are the four quadrants. First is lecture video. Then you have got supplementary study materials. You have got uh, what's called face to, uh, interaction taking place through online mode. Then a self-assessment on a weekly basis. These are the four quadrants. In addition to that, we do provide some platform where the teacher is able to connect to the students, maybe once in a while, maybe once in a month, to a platform called YouTube Live Session. The way I am connected to the uh, students who are attending this session through YouTube, like some people are posting their queries, in the similar way, the teacher will be interacting the students through YouTube Live. That is a predetermined time slot will be informed to the candidates when they will join into the YouTube session. And if they have any doubt related to the course, they'll post their queries, which will be picked up by the faculty and answered. So that is a substitute for face-to-face -face interaction that takes place in a regular classroom structure. Like here, someone is asking like Ray Nu. Are certificates, certification useful for job seekers? I request uh, uh, Ray, uh, please wait for some time. I'll just follow my uh, few slides. After a few slides, I'll be touching upon this point. So kindly bear with us. Okay. What are the, now we said that, okay, we are offering the courses uh, following the four quadrants. What is the format of the courses? We have got three standard. We have standardized our courses into three basic formats. While some courses are on very special topic, maybe a topic has been discussed, which will be for 10 hours. There could be some courses which are not fully topic specific, not again full semester based, uh, you can say syllabus, intermediate like that type of courses can be covered within a 20 hours timeline or a full semester course can be covered within a, uh, or uh, full semester courses of 30 hours duration. So we have got three different formats. As in a classroom setting, the teacher is also delivering the lectures, uh, maybe two hours, three hours, or four hours every week. Here we have standardized, like we will be taking 2.5 or two to three hours of lecture per week. Considering 2.5 as the standard, we will be able to complete a full semester course within a 12 weeks timeline. How much time would we take? To complete a 20 hours course, it will be eight weeks. And we will take just four weeks time or one month time to complete a 10 hour course. So our course durations are either for one, one month, two months or three months duration, depending on the whether the course is of 10 hours, 20 hours or 30 hours duration. Okay, what are the components? We said four components. It's a 2.5 hours of lecture per week. Then there is a forum for interaction. There is supplementary study material. And at the end, you have got one assignment per week. In addition, we also said that the teacher will be available for video-based interaction. That is optional video-based interaction with the faculty. So these are the five quadrants we will be following. And at the end, there is an option. If someone is interested to take the certification exam conducted by NPTEL, then they are most welcome to register and write the exam for the certification. Okay, so there is an optional certification examination at the end.
Now, lecture videos, we are saying that the lecture should be of 2.5 hours every week. In your classrooms, you usually face a one hour lecture. But here, we are not restricting our lecture's duration to one hour. We are actually making it a shorter version so that it becomes easy for the students to keep their concentration level for half an hour. And also, technically, it becomes easier to download a shorter video duration video from the portal. So our lectures, we try to restrict it within 30 minutes. So if it is of 30 minutes, then you can expect there will be about five lectures every week in a course. Okay. These lectures, when do we release it? Once the courses start, we'll be releasing the videos every Monday. Like yesterday, the courses for January semester has started. So we have released the first week videos in the portal. By Monday, we will be releasing all the videos. Now, the, if you just see the portal, you'll find there are a few courses which were created for the, this semester. That means these that they are off, they are being offered for the first time. Then there are some courses also where you really have uh, these courses were developed sometime earlier and being offered on a redone mode. Okay, so for the rerun courses, as we say that we offer these courses and make these videos available through YouTube or in ptl.sc.in portal. So for a rerun course, these videos are released already in the portal. So if you are joining for a course, you don't have to wait till Monday morning. You can access these videos from YouTube or from nptl.sc.in portal. Only for the new courses which have been created for that particular semester, you will have to wait till Monday morning. Uh, Mr. Swarup Devnath is asking, sir, can I uh, get certificate without exam? My answer is no. It is a certification course. If you want to complete uh, the learning, if you're joining the course just for learning, that is you go through the videos, you go through the supplementary study materials, doubt, the doubt clearing session takes place through, you to, uh, through uh, forum, then you have got your uh, interaction, quizzes you are submitting, you don't have to uh, do anything. You just enroll into the course, complete it without paying any fee, but not getting any certificate. If you are looking for a certificate, then you have to register for the examination by paying the requisite fee. And if you qualify as per our approved norms to get the certificate, then only we'll be issuing you the certificate, okay? Supplementary study materials, we say that lectures are made available. Then we also provide the text transcript of the lecture videos. We understand many of the students from tr 2 tr 3 colleges may find it difficult, particularly the students who are uh, not, who might have not studied in English medium schools. Initially, they may have some difficulty in following the lectures delivered by the faculties in English, particularly if he's from a different region, then the accent will also be changing. So they may have some difficulty. So once the courses are created in a semester, we try to convert these course videos in, into a text format. That is English text transcripts of the recorded videos are made available to the learners. Once it is going for the read on mode. In that case, they can actually follow the lectures. Even if they do not follow the videos, they can at least refer to the text versions and try to pick up from there. We also provide the PowerPoint presentation slides to the students. There are faculty members who might be interested in sharing the handwritten notes, uh, links to free wiki resources. These are the materials that are provided to the learners so that they have some materials to, uh, for rapid revision or maybe uh, in-depth understanding of the subject that helps them. Discussion forum is the place through which they will be interacting with the faculty to get their doubts clarified. Okay, so they will be posting their queries there. This will be answered by the faculty and the set of teaching assistants who are helping the teacher in running the course. We try to provide the answer within a fixed timeline, tentatively within 24 hours, so that the students are not demotivated to take out uh, to drop out from the courses. Okay. This forum remains live during the entire duration of the course. We offer the courses during January and July. 
aligning with the semester system. For January run courses, the enrollment process starts from November, two months ahead of the scheduled date. And similarly, for the July run, the enrollment starts two months ahead of the uh, July, two months ahead of July. Okay, so during this, uh, say from November till the exams are completed for January session in say uh, April and results declared by May, during the entire span, the forum remains live and anyone joining into the course would be able to post their queries and get it answered by the faculty and teaching assistants. Okay. Now we say we are giving a fourth quadrant self-assessment quiz on a weekly basis. So there is usually one assignment is given to the uh, candidates per week. There could be more assignments also if the faculty feels so. Number of questions, you can expect 10 to 15 questions per, uh, per assignment. These assignment questions will be provided to the enrolled candidates on Monday along with the weekly videos. So on Monday morning in the portal, you will see the weekly videos, your weekly assignment, supplementary study materials, maybe links to the text transcripts, if it is available, all these resources will be available. And once they are released into the portal, these videos will be remaining in YouTube and nptl.sc.in portal throughout the entire duration of the course. They will not be taken out. So it's not that Monday morning you have to download the video or see the video. There is no timeline, you can join and download the videos as per your own convenience and go through that. Okay, but assignment has got a timeline. That means after going through the videos, after getting their doubts clarified, going through the supplementary study materials, you will have to solve the assignment problems and submit it for evaluation within 10 days time. That is Monday morning till next week's Wednesday, 23, 59 hours, midnight. That's the entire 10 days full day is given to you for submission of the assignment for gradation. Okay. These assignment questions could be multiple choice or multiple select or in a manner so that it is easy for the computer to do the automatic grading. Or it could be some cases the faculty might be interested that they will give you a uh, some a question which will needs to be answered by the students or enrolled candidates and uploaded onto the portal. So this has to be evaluated manually by the teacher. So it could be some questions could be computer graded type, some could be manual grading type. We provide 10 days timeline. Each assignment will be graded out of 100 marks. And you are permitted to have multiple submissions. That is after first submission, if you feel that you have done a mistake, you can go back to the portal and resubmit it with the corrected version. And the last submission will only be considered for gradation. Each assignment will be graded out what? Out of how much? 100 marks. Okay. So if it is a 12 week course, you have got 12 assignments, each of 100 marks. If it is for eight weeks course, 800 marks is at stake. For a four weeks course, you have got 400 marks out of which you will be evaluated during the entire course plan. Okay. Once the assignment submission deadline closes on next week, Wednesday, 23.59 hours, we release the automatically the portal will show you the correct options. Okay. You go to the portal, you will see which was the correct option, whether you have marked the answer correctly or not. And whether you have been given a marks for that or not. Every data will be provided later on. We also publish the detailed worked out solution provided by the faculty. So that in case you have got any doubt, you can refer to the official version of the answer script to understand where you went wrong. Okay. Uh, Mr. Akash Mishra is asking, uh, is this course helpful for gate exam? Yes, definitely. Uh, we have a GET portal. I'll talk about this in the later part of my talk. I'll show you how you can utilize uh, GET portal. Since you are from electrical engineering discipline, uh, you can definitely get links to uh, different videos created under NPTEL, which will give you a better understanding of the core subjects. Okay, please uh, tune to the uh, what's called tune into this channel and wait for the uh, be after a few slides. I'll be talking about. 
<coughs> self assessment quizzes can be multiple choice type with one correct option or it could be multiple select type with more than one correct option for a multiple choice if you mark the correct option you get full marks otherwise you get zero marks however for a multiple select that means you have got a combination of correct options incorrect options mixed together so as long as you select correct options you get marks however if you select any incorrect option along with one or more correct option the score reduces to zero that is we call grading scheme for multiple select is proportional as long as you select correct options amongst the lot you get marks otherwise if you select say there are three correct option you have selected two correct and one incorrect the score will be reduced to zero there could be some assignment questions where numerical problem will be given you have to solve the problem and put the numerical value at the back end teacher will tell that okay if the answer is within this number to this number with this level of uh, accuracy it should be <coughs> sorry it should be considered correct so it could be alphanumeric or numeric values you have to put it in the short answer type of questions or it could be subjective assignment where you will have to solve the problem and upload it for manual gradation how much is assignment will be graded out of it is 100 every week one assignment ravinda you are asking when can i check which what courses are open sir i'll uh, show you from the portal uh the courses have already started yesterday and the first set of courses for january that is 900 sorry 502 courses are open currently which will be closing the enrollment process on say uh, 31st of january next monday the enrollment for 502 courses will be closing i'll show you where you can check the courses and how to enroll please tune uh, remain tuned okay what are the type of courses uh, we are offering we are offering not only the curriculum based core courses we are also offering elective courses courses from the emerging areas on soft skill entrepreneurship intellectual property law teaching and assessment which will be useful for the faculty members okay how do they offer the course uh, how do they uh, better teaching methodologies um then assessment techniques these are all discussed there so it's not only addresses the requirement of the students to prepare for their examination or maybe preparing for the job market or starting their own initiative but also helps the teacher in better delivery of the curriculum or data better delivery of the course contents and assessments how many courses are available in nptel we are offering uh, this is being asked by kaha kashyap uh, currently we have got 592 courses being offered during january to april out of that 502 courses are on offer during january uh, 20 which is starting from 24 january rather it has started from 24 january the enrollment process will close for these courses on 31st of january remaining 90 courses will be open till 21st of february what is the central topic of this course i really could not follow which is asked by sanjana based i really what exactly is the course about and it is useful for jest candidates but just i am i am not very sure about what you are talking for jest examination i am not really aware of this this might be a regional examination jest if you can elaborate on that see any examination okay will be testing your knowledge on your core courses okay so if it is core courses from <coughs> whether it's a bsc ba bcom or maybe uh, your engineering curriculum management some of these core courses are available in nptel and it's not a very specific course if you are looking for in depth knowledge of that course you can definitely refer to this course as you are referring to a teacher you are referring to certain books you can also use nptel courses as a reference material possibly that will help you then timelines we said that we have got three variation of courses four course four week courses eight week courses and 12 week courses so we club the four weeks and eight week courses into two groups the first group of four week courses first group of eight week first set of eight week courses 
and all 12 week courses <coughs> have started their, uh, their for the courses which are scheduled for offering from january to april has started already on 24 that is yesterday okay the first four week course will be completed within a month's time in february eight week course will be completed in march and you will have exam for these two set of courses on a single day 27th march 2022 similarly the second set of four week courses and second set of eight weeks courses will start after in a different timeline after a month's time that is on 21st february and the enrollment for these courses will also close on 21st february okay so these courses will be completed either in march or april depending on whether it's a 10 week course or uh, sorry 10 hour course or 20 hour course and the exam for this second set of four weeks eight weeks along with all 12 week courses will be conducted in two days during april 23rd and 24th april 2022 exam registration for all the courses are currently open so if you are interested to join any of these courses look for the course that you are looking for if it is offered during the first slot first four weeks first set of eight weeks and 12 weeks without waiting for further time please enroll now and register for the examination that ex exam registration fee is thousand rupees with normal fee structure you will be able to register for march exam by 14th of february or for april exam by 14th of march but with late fee that is additional 500 rupees penalty you'll be able to complete the registration either by 18th february or 18th march depending on whether you are appearing for the March exam or April exam. Okay, where do you get the list of courses as someone was asking? Let me go back to the portal. Uh, see, you go to nptl.ac.in. Here you can see exam upcoming, sorry, tentative course list january to april 2022 you can just click here it will open an excel sheet where it will give you what are the list of courses that are currently available this is one way you can see this is discipline wise it is written agriculture architecture biotechnology bioengineering all courses whether it's from engineering management law any other disciplines you'll get the details here which is the course name faculty which institute he or she belongs to duration whether it's a new course redone course every data is shared here you can see here start date exam date whether it's a core course whether it's a elective course whether this course is connected with any domain certification program every data is given in this consolidated sheet so you can refer to this okay now you have you know how the courses are offered in a four quadrant approach you know okay which are the courses are currently available if you are interested to join a course how do you join what is the method you will have to go through the swam.gov.in portal so instead of going through the uh, say ppt let me directly connect you to the portal say what is the portal swayam.gov.in this is the portal through which all nptl courses which are actually swayam courses will be offered you can also get the same course details here also uh, suresh Gaur garud is asking do the course relate to indian landscape painting i really uh, do not know the diversity of the courses you really have to explore find out the syllabuses that are currently being offered the course syllabuses and see whether it meets your requirement it matches with your requirement okay you are also asking indian aesthetic fine art drawing and painting course in which month uh, see these courses are offered in two semesters you will have to continuously look for the courses it's not some of these courses might be uh, not might not be coming from nptl but other coordinators of soyam might be offering some courses so it will be very difficult for me to answer to uh, specifically for your queries 
you yourself have to continuously on a regular basis you have to come to the portal and look for these courses you can just put your say painting you are asking for the fine art or drawing or painting if there is any course currently offered in this portal you can just look for the keywords here painting see there are two courses for the senior and secondary school students offered by nius okay so you will have to actually look for the courses from here by using the keywords otherwise if you are looking for the nptel courses you can click on to the all courses tag here it will list all the courses which are currently being offered by different national coordinators on in swayam portal okay now here you have got a filters you can select the nptel from here put the national coordinator nptel all courses currently offered by nptel or currently available for enrollment will be reflected as we said out of 592 courses 502 courses are currently available for offering during jan 24 january 24 january this has started 31st january the enrollment process will close so 502 courses which are currently available in swayam portal will be taken out after 31st january after the enrollment process will close so you are getting the name of the course here means the course is still open in the portal for enrollment suppose you are looking for this course it's a brief course on superconductivity uh faculty is professor saurabh basu from iit guwahati this is a four weeks course exam date is starting on 24 january you can also select the courses which is starting when it is starting you can select by using the filters like whether it's engineering and technology or architecture or discipline wise you can put a filter suppose you have identified okay this is the course you are looking for click on to the course this is the course card it is giving you a brief idea then it takes you to the next page where you have got how many people have actually enrolled into the course at this point of time here is a short video created by the faculty 2 to 5 minutes video which will give you a glimpse of what is the learning outcome of the course what the faculty is going to teach in this course maybe within this four weeks tenure and what will be the final outcome what knowledge you will be getting out of this course after four weeks course details is given who are the intended audience which type of students will find this course beneficial if there is any prerequisite if it is a core course it is a elective course course structure the syllabus weekly structure it is the books and references the faculty has referred to instructor biodata is given how the certification process will be completed all these things are written here okay criteria every data that we are talking today are mentioned already in the portal so you can keep a note of it and enroll into the portal suppose now after going through all these things you feel that okay this is the course you are looking for and you want to join what do you do click on to the join button okay uh mr pandu you are asking sir only one exam on one course yes is only one certification exam that you have to write uh either the, if the course is in um, say exam is on Ma in march you have to write one exam otherwise if the course has got exam in scheduled in april you have to write that exam only one exam okay uh sanjana you are asking sir it's joint entrance screening joint entrance screening test for phd and int see as i said whether it is joint entrance for undergraduate program conducted by iits or um, any other agencies or pg level course like gate or any other examination conducted by csi or ugc and all they have a fixed syllabus and the syllabus is if you want to crack do well in that definitely you will be referring to some books okay or you will be taking coaching or you will be referring to uh, some of the video materials what we say that since nptel courses are coming from the best faculties from iits and they are covering the same syllabus you can actually find out which are the courses that suits your syllabus and refer to those videos so that you get a better understanding of the course contents okay that will it will help it will be helpful 
Nikola Satish, you are asking professional electives will be, we will do so. Okay, fine. Please go ahead. The, now, once you click onto the join button, it will take you to uh, multiple options that are available for joining. What we say that if you have got a Google account, do use your Google account. Use that Google account. It will take you to the Gmail account page. Use your Gmail account credentials. Then it will take you to this page where you'll find name is NPK. Sorry. It will be written. Sorry. Just give me a minute. Like here, I'll put Google, I'll select here Google, then I put my account details, credential, it takes me to the course page. Say I write here uh, all courses, I put national coordinator as NPTEL, maybe say I am looking for some humanities course or arts course, or maybe say economics course, I see, okay, if there is any course from NPTEL, which is, no, I, there is no course on NPTEL. Uh, if there's anything uh, from English. If it is from engineering, say, I'm talking about advanced comp uh, or advanced comp uh, composites. Okay. So if I want to click onto this, join onto this course, I'll click here. It will take me to this page now. I join using the credential. Since I have already logged in, it is not asking me the second time credential. Now here it will show my name, my mobile number, email ID, age group. I can select from the drop-down menu. I can select country. I am currently residing my profession. Here you will have four options. Four options, student, faculty, employed, and other. If you are a student or faculty, that means you are currently associated with any academic institution. And there is a possibility that the academic institution is currently connected with NPTEL as a local chapter. So in that case, the question comes, are you part of a Swayam local chapter? If it is yes, if you feel that your college is a local chapter, do select yes from the dropdown. There are two options, yes and no. Select yes, select the state name and select your college name from the dropdown. If your college is a local chapter, then under the particular state, you'll find your college name is reflected in the drop down. Select it from there. Suppose you are an interested uh, student, but your college is still not part of the local chapter. We have got more than 50,000 academic institutions across the country, and we are roughly connected to about 5,000 colleges. So there is a vast majority of the students who are outside NPT local chapter colleges. So it is always possible that they will be interested to join a course. How do they join? In that case, they will select here, part of some local chapter, no. They'll select state, select from here, from the drop down. After all college names, local chapter names are shown from that state, there is an option called other, O-T-H-E-R, other. You can write the name of your college or anything that you feel like, okay. So it does not bar you. If you are not from a local chapter, that does not bar you to join a course. Now, if you are unemployed, there is a possibility that you are part of a, uh, you can say industry body who is connected to us. Okay. Otherwise, you can be other also. You can just join saying if you are a retired professional, you are a homemaker, you can still join into the course. Okay. Then you are selecting your year of graduation highest qualification from the drop-down menu, college or school number, uh, roll number, you can give it, degree you are currently pursuing, the department you belong to. Here, it is not that you, you might have, say, different departments in different institutes. Their nomenclatures are different. So it's not possible to put all department names under the list. So we have given some broader uh, names. If you feel your department is perfectly not matching, see which is the department that closely resembles to your area of studies. Select that one. It is not going to be reflected anywhere in your certificate. It's for our internal consumption. So just select the option that you feel closely related to your area. Which year you are studying, select it from there. 
click on to the I agree to SOM terms and service and I agree to follow the honor code and join to the course. What you get once you click here, it will give you a message that you have successfully joined into the course. This message, it will be not only showing into the page currently, but the same message will also be delivered to your email ID. Okay. Now, suppose I have joined into this course. The, I can see your course outline. Weekly structure will be given week one. Currently, the course has started yesterday, so we are in week one. Okay. This course was for how many weeks? Uh, this was possibly for, I think, four weeks course, right? Or, uh, no, sorry, I, I missed that one. So now here you'll find the week one. You have got lecture one, lecture two, lecture three, lecture four, lecture five, lecture six. There are six lectures. There is a weekly assignment. If you click onto any of these lectures, this lecture video will open here. You can see the video here, or you can, once you click it here, the video will play from here. As well as you can also open the same video from NPT LHRD channel by clicking to the YouTube. If you click onto the YouTube, the same video will open from YouTube and you can download it from here also. Okay. What all things you can see here? You have got a weekly assignment. Assignments, what type of assignments you have got? It is automatic graded. That means the question and options are given with radio buttons. So after going through the questions, you will be selecting one or more correct option as the case may be. And against the assignment, it is written the due date. How many days you are given at the time? It is 10 days. So from yesterday, you can see the calculate 10 days time. It is 9 February means it is still 10 days. That means next week's Wednesday midnight it is given. Okay. Every assignment is graded out of 100. But here you find there are eight questions, each of one mark, one point. How do you calculate 100 marks? Whether this question carries 5 marks, 10 marks, or 20 marks? You do not know. So calculate the total points. There are eight points. Eight point is equivalent to 100 marks. That means each question carries about uh, 12.5 marks. So if, this, if it is a single correct option question, then you select the correct option here like this and submit it. If it is correct, you get full marks. If it is multiple select type where you have got multiple options, then as long as you select correct option, you'll be getting the proportionate marks. Okay. After doing all these things, you submit the answers. Before that, what do you do? If you have got any doubt, you can go to the ask it question button uh, tab here and this this is the tab through which the student will be posting their queries to the faculty if they have got any doubt they'll be raising the queries here so it's not only that you are alone there your peer groups say 3000 students are connected all 3000 students whoever is having any doubt they'll be posting that query here so in addition to your queries you can also see what queries are raised by other students and what is the answer given by the faculty. That's how you can get your doubts clarified as you do it in a regular classroom. Sanjana, you are asking, can you please explain again how to go and check for courses? Okay, I'll just check it. Uh, another query is from Pandu. Sir, I took AI course. His classes will upload daily or not? Yesterday only I saw one video that is introduction of AI. As I have clearly mentioned, these courses are on offer from 24th January. If your course has started from 24th of January, then the first week videos are already into the portal. As I have shown now for this course, there will be 2.5 to 3 hours of lecture. You will get the videos here. Then you can download the videos also from here. So it will not be one lecture. These lectures will be released every Monday morning. If it is a new course, then Monday morning, you have to wait and get the videos. If the course is on a rerun mode, as I have shown here, <coughs> see, you can see here, this is the course list. If the course is on rerun, that means these videos are already available in YouTube or nptl.ac.in. So you don't have to wait till Monday. You can directly access all contents for say, 
four weeks, eight weeks, or twelve weeks directly from here. Okay. Sir, online uh, exam is online or offline? Nikala uh, Satish, uh, the exams will be online or it can be offline also. Please wait. Uh, let me go back to that slide. Then it will be clear to you. Okay. Uh, so let me continue with what I was talking. So this is the forum where you will be asking your question and getting it answered. What else you are looking for? You have submitted, you, you have actually referred to the say videos. If there is an assignment, uh, if you have got any say reading materials or lecture materials or text transcript, sometimes the text transcript will be provided here. Okay, or maybe the links will be provided here for certain courses if it is available. Then you have got your, you are asking your question. Then you are going back to the assignment after getting your doubts clarified, submitting the assignments from here. Then after the submission deadline expires on 9th of February at 11.59, which is mentioned here, you'll go back to the portal. If you have submitted the assignments, then you'll find assignment one score will be reflected here. That is, if you have submitted, what is your score in this assignment out of 100? Okay, what else tab is there? Announcement. Here, every week, once we release the weekly videos, weekly assignments, weekly video solutions, every data will be posted in the announcement. This announcement will also be posted to your email ID. So you will be getting regular updates on what is going on into the course through, but just by checking your mailbox to which you have enrolled into the courses. Okay. Uh, Reno Reddy, uh, Reno Rabi Doll, you are asking, is there any course related to literature? As I said, you will have to explore. You have to spend some time, go to the Swayam, go to all courses, then put appropriate filter, or maybe you can put literature word, and literature word is quite vast. Okay. What type of courses you are looking for, you have to put appropriate filter or maybe use certain keywords to find out the courses currently available in Swayam, whether it's from NPTEL or from any other agency. Okay, so this is what is about joining into the course, how to get uh, my queries answered through forum, how do I submit my assignment, how I get announcement and how I get my score updated. Okay. Mentor part, I leave it at this point. I'll come back a little later. There is uh, just once I one, let me get, touch upon this also. Mentor is an option uh, given to the students so that they will have a faculty from their college as the first level of escalation point. If you have got any doubt, the first option is that, okay, you can definitely ask your queries to the course teacher. There is also an option that you, if any of your college teacher is interested to help you out or help their students, then they can also join into the course and become a mentor for you. How do they take place? They will be joining into the course in the same way you have enrolled. Only thing, if you are, if as a student, you are enrolling into the course, identifying that you are a student from this college, you have to select student, you have to select your local chapter college from drop down menu and join. The faculty who wants to become a mentor, he or she will select the profession as faculty and also select the college name from drop down. In that case, the single point of contact of NPTEL in your college will get the can enroll candidates data in the SPOC dashboard. Once they go out and go to their dashboard, you can see here, if I see here SPOC admin, it will take me to the dashboard. <coughs> My email ID is connected to one college. So I can show you how this is <coughs> shown there. Okay. It's taking little time. So in the SPOC, you'll be able to see from the dashboard who are the candidates, whether the student or faculty who has enrolled into the course. Suppose these are the course names and uh, let me see some course where you have got more number of enrollments. Say 
say here. Okay, here I am getting. They will be able to see the twelve uh, details of these twelve students, whether they are uh, student or faculty. If they are faculty, then against their name, they will be able to see a checkbox where they will put a tick and identify this faculty as their mentor. Okay, once it is selected. Once that faculty name is identified as uh, okay, he wants he or she wants to become a mentor. In that case, that name will be appearing to you under the mentor tab. Then you can select that faculty as your mentor. Okay, what happens then? The faculty will be able to see your performance data. This progress step data. Will be able. This data will be accessible to the faculty, so they know whether you are periodically submitting the assignments. What is your performance score? If you are falling behind, in case you are not getting good score, since this score, which I'll show you, this is linked to your final grade also. So if you are falling behind, then he or she may help you out in clearing some of your doubts. so he or she the mentor faculty from your college will be able to help your local issues or maybe any uh, doubts that you may have he or she will be able to resolve it in addition to the help that is available to you through the forum okay uh, then i let me go back to the presentation once again so we have this all things what we talked about joining to the portal and all can also be done through the swayam map if you have got android or ios uh, mobiles then you can use the uh, appropriate swayam map from the google play store and use it okay these all things we have discussed about uh only thing i'll just talk about it that in case if you are a student of any course which is related to programming say c c++ java python haskell anything very low then in addition to your the type of question that i have shown from the portal multiple choice you will also have something called programming assignment where a set of programming questions will be given you will and you will have to submit that one so in addition to the multiple choice of questions that you may be encountering in a programming course you will also have programming assignments with specific due dates how uh, your the skin you are asking how will we will we get our certificate uh, if you are qualifying to get the certificate this certificate will be available in a soft copy and you will be available to download it from the portal uh, again taha uh, kashyap you are asking uh, is all courses has got any age limit no these courses are offered in triple a model it can be taken by anyone from anywhere and can be done any time okay that means irrespective of your gender age group profession academic background anyone having interest to learn and an internet connectivity should be able to join any of the courses okay in which purposes assignments are useful uh, as asked by mr pandu assignments are actually regular assessment of your understanding and in your regular if you are a student of a college you might have seen there are about 10 15 20% weightage is taken for internal assessment where the faculty will be your class teacher will be assessing your performance over the entire duration semester duration and putting some marks out of that so here assignment scores will be carrying 25% weightage in the final that is if your score final certification is out of 100 the final exam will only carry 75% weightage that remaining 25% weightage will be linked to your assignment so every assignment is very very important the score that you get here will substantially impact your performance in the final grade okay um adambar you are asking mentor for each course can be different faculty or one faculty for all courses no a faculty is permitted to be mentor for maximum two courses and maximum 50 students can be mentored by one faculty 
two courses, 50 faculty, 50 students. That's the mentoring uh, limitation. Uh, but again, uh, let me tell you one important point. It is mandatory to become a mentor that the faculty must enroll into the course, but it is not mandatory that the faculty must have to write the examination. There's nothing harm. We can we have got the data that to show that, okay, a large number of faculty members are actually writing the exam also, but it is not mandatory. If you want to help your students do join into the course, if you are joining into the course, then only you know how the course is progressing and you'll be able to help the students of your college. Okay, that makes sense. So it's not mandatory to write the exam, but you can definitely help uh, the students of your college. Mentor can make a WhatsApp group or mentors for solving problems. We would only suggest you do not help the students in solving the problems. If the problem is given to them, you can explain the background logic, but do not solve the problem for them. The very purpose of offering this course or joining this course by the students is to learn something on their own. If you solve the problem for them, it does really does not serve their purpose. Okay, they may be getting a certificate. It is as if that they are getting a certificate uh, with CGPA 9.510, but if some faculty has solved all the problems for them, once the person approaches for an interview, uh, for a uh, uh, sits before a prospective employer, they are asking the questions, the faculty is not going to help them. It is the students who have to tell the answer based on his or her understanding of the subject. So you may definitely get connected to them through WhatsApp, understand their problem, but do not solve the problem for them. This is our honest request. Otherwise you'll be actually defeating the very purpose of these courses. They will not learn anything. And let me tell you, the final exam also will be conducted in the similar way uh, the assignments are conducted. So if they do, they do not understand the assignment problems themselves, how are they going to solve the final exam problems? You will not be there to help the students. Okay. Uh, then subjective assignment, as I said, you'll be given a question, you'll have to upload onto the portal for manual evaluation. And as we said that each assignment carries 25% mark, not each assignment, assignments marks will carry 25% weightage. How do we calculate the assignment weightage? For a four weeks course, only the best three assignments will be taken. There are four assignments, each are of 100 marks. But we consider that you may miss one or one odd assignment due to different reasons. Maybe it is clashing with your semester exam. In that case, we only take best three assignment score. Best six assignment scores are taken for eight weeks course and best eight assignment scores are taken for a 12 week course. That means if you have submitted all 12 assignments for the 12 week course, we'll put them in a sheet and see which are the best, uh, which are the uh, eight assignments, which carries highest scores. Add them together. What is your score out of 100? Take an average out of 100. What is your score? Take 25% from there. And if this 25% weightage falls below 10, that is, if you do not get average score of 40%, then even if you get 100 out of 100 in the final certification examination, you will not be eligible to get a certificate. So you have to individually get 25, sorry, 40% marks in assignment, average assignment score. Consider a case, you have taken a course of 12 weeks duration and you have not submitted even eight assignments. Say you have submitted six assignments. How do we calculate 25% weightage? We'll calculate that the scores that you have scored out of 600 marks is actually out of 800 marks. That is the remaining two assignments which you have missed, you have actually scored zero there. So marks out of 600 will be taken as marks out of 800 and calculated accordingly. Okay, if 25%, you have got 10 marks there, fine, go ahead with the final exam. If it falls below 10, there is no point in writing the exam because you will not be getting the certificate even if you do very well there. For a programming course, so 25% so is for assignment and remaining 75% goes to the final exam. Final exam will be out of 100 or 50. If the course is for 10 hours, it is for 50. 
and if it is for eight weeks or twelve weeks, the course final exam is out of hundred. So that will carry your fifty seventy five percent weighted. If you have got eighty marks in out of hundred in final exam, it will be considered you have got sixty out of seventy five in the final exam, and we will show there that your score out of final exam is sixty out of seventy five. And what is score in your assignment? X out of twenty five. That also will be reflected, and the cumulative total of assignment score and final exam will determine your grade. For a programming course, you will have a separate non-proctored programming exam. That is, before your final exam, you will have a particular date when you will be exposed to a special set of assignment questions. One during the day, one during the night. There will be two slots. You can write it in any slot, either morning or evening, or you can write it in two slots also. In case you appear for both the exams. Then whichever exam you are scoring higher will be taken, and 25% weightage will be calculated from there. So for a programming course, 25% weightage goes to programming test and assignment score, weekly assignment score, and remaining 50% is with the final certification examination. Exam fee is 1,000 rupees per subject. 50% fee waiver is applicable for SCST and physically challenged candidates with more than 40% disability. The candidates can submit the fee online, or the colleges can collect the fees from all students and submit it to NPTEL using the NEFT or demand draft. We work with our industry partners uh, to offer the courses uh, aligning with their requirements, and we try to get some funding from there. In the form of their CSR in initiatives, corporate social responsibility initiative. If we have got the fund, we try to utilize this fund for supporting the needy meritorious students. So, if your college has got a student who is a meritorious student but cannot afford to pay thousand rupees examination fee, which is same for four weeks, eight weeks, twelve weeks, then you can recommend their name to NPTEL for fee waiver. And if NPTEL has the funding. They will consider the case and give due approval. In that case, the student will register for the examination by paying thousand rupees only. But if he or she qualifies to get the certificate, fifty percent fee will be refunded back to the candidate from the account to which from which we have received the fund for that particular candidate. Uh, Reno, baby, you are asking. Uh, may I know by which mode mentors will interact with students? See, mentors are the faculty members from your college, so they may interact with you on a face-to-face -face mode if it is a offline mode. Otherwise, you may interact with him in an online mode, maybe through any modes like phone, uh, videos, video calls, and all. So it's up to you. If anyone fail in this course, can they do again in the again the same course? Yes. If you fail in this semester, uh, there should not be any problem in getting at least forty percent marks. If you very well do the weekly assignments on your on yourself, do it yourself. You understand the basic concept of forty uh, weekly assignments. Then I really doubt whether you can really fail in the course. Okay, at least you should do the assignments properly. Then in uh, in that case, suppose uh, in the eventuality of you failing the course. And if the course is offered again, maybe in the next or next semesters, you can join the course. But again, let me assure you that the assignment scores that you have got this semester will not be carried forward. You have to start from scratch and do all the assignments in that semester only. Okay. If someone scores zero in assignment and seventy-five in final, what will happen? I clearly say. Until and unless you get at least ten out of twenty-five in assignment, whether you get hundred out of hundred or seventy-five out of seventy-five in the final exam, you will not be considered successful and you will not be getting the certificate. That I have clarified once again. Okay, what to do for economically weaker candidates? Again, you are not listening possibly. Economically weaker candidates. If you are economically weaker candidate. your college has to take a final call and recommend your name to nptel if we have got the funding and if you meet the criteria then nptel will give you a fee waiver approval and 
you pay 1000 rupees fee while registration but if you complete the course successfully we will refund your 50% exam fee again i don't know whether you are not following the exam but your exam is conducted in online or offline i categorically answered once again uh, just few minutes back exam can be conducted in online mode or in offline mode please wait uh, i'll come in the next slide examination conducted uh, through our exam partner tcs in the iron platform that is you can take the course from your home there is no problem in that but for writing the exam you have to physically come to the examination center whether it is online exam or offline that means online means your questions will come onto the screen you will have to use your mouse and put the answers correctly as you do in an assignment computer graded assignments the same thing will happen in the final exam okay but if it is offline means your questions will be appearing in the screen you will be given a piece of paper in the same examination center you will be writing the answer in a piece of paper that you do in a conventional exam mode in your colleges submit it to the invigilators in the exam center and this exam paper will be evaluated manually that is offline so whether the exam is online or offline you will have to physically go to the examination center questions will be always on the monitor either you will be answering the question answers by checking the right buttons or entering the alphanumeric values there in an online mode or you will be answering the paper in a piece of paper answer scripts will be given to you please note that for any course that requires use of calculators you will not be provided allowed to carry your physical calculators you will have on screen calculators we usually give connectivity to that during the entire runtime of the course get used to using that online calculators so that you don't face any problem during the exam process exam is conducted the dates i have mentioned exams will be of 3 hours duration conducted in two shifts one during 9 to 12 in the forenoon and 2 to 5 in the afternoon exam paper that means same exam will have uh, will be conducted in both the sessions with two different sets of papers so on a day you can actually write exams for two papers one in the forenoon one in the afternoon okay if you are doing that please ensure or otherwise also you should always ensure that as long as you are in the learning process you should always use your same email id so that we identify you as a unique person and always allot the same examination center if you are writing the exam for two papers on a particular day it should not so happen that you have enrolled for both the courses using different ids and you get exam center x for forenoon and exam center y in the afternoon you may not be able to go from back from one place to another place within that short time okay so always use the same email id certification less than 40 consolidated score no certificates 40 to 100 is only certificates are allowed 40 to 59 we say successfully completed the course uh, 60 to 74 elite 75 to 89 with elite you will give giving silver 90 to 100 it will be elite with gold i think uh, some of the students are not following the lectures can i give exam from home i categorically said you can take the exam uh, you can uh, follow the course from your home but it is exam has to be taken from centers approved centers of tcs so physically you have to go to the exam center with your valid identity proof and you have to write there is a proctor that means you have to write the exam under the supervision of iit or nptel representative five point grading as i have said this one certificates will be issued if you are qualifying in this front uh, soft copy will be issued to you on successful completion of the course if you are within the course stopper that is within 5 1% 2% or 5% of the course stoppers um, successful candidates if the course has got more than 100 people while successfully completing the course 
And if you are within top 1%, 2%, and 5%, then we'll also be putting a topper seal onto the certificate. Logo of the institution that is offering the course will be mentioned. Then it will also carry the SOYAM logo. There will be credit equivalency. In general, we write a 10 hour course is equivalent to one credit. Two credit is assigned for 20 hour courses. <clears throat> and if full semester 30 hour course is equivalent to three credit as far as NPTEL is concerned. However, it also mentions that universities and autonomous colleges are free to add additional credits as they deem fit. This is a sample certificate. It will carry elite, elite gold, top art seal, depending on your performance. It will carry your photograph, name, the course that you have done, assignment score out of 25, final exam score out of 75 for a non-programming non, uh, non course. The consolidated score will be mentioned here, which is the addition of this and this. Then the total number of candidates who have successfully completed the course, when this course was offered, all details will be provided. At the backhand side, the certification grading scheme, QR code so that anyone to whom you are uh, say giving this certificate, if I want to verify the authenticity of the certificate, I don't have to approach NPTEL. I just put a QR code scanner from my mobile device and I'll be able to see the original certificate from the NPTEL server. So that helps the uh, say prospective employer or anyone, even your college, to verify the authenticity of the certificate if the course was taken for the credit transfer or this course is considered for uh, placement opportunities. Okay. If you have done multiple courses from NPTEL, you can also generate a consolidated mark sheet in the same way. This is a soft copy of the certificate that can be generated anytime. General questions that I was seeing that, okay, these are being asked is, how many courses can I enroll? You can enroll in any number of courses. You can enroll into 10, 20, 50. If you feel so that you are confident of handling that many courses, you can enroll into the course. Even if you are not from local chapter, you can enroll. If you are from local chapter, select appropriate local chapter name from the drop-down menu. If you are not from local chapter, select know that you are college is not a local chapter and from the drop down menu of the local chapter and college names you have got other option write it there which college or what is the thing that you want to write you are say studying in discipline x say you are from physics discipline you may have a doubt okay can i take a course from computer science yes very well this permits you take any course from other disciplines also which may not be feasible in your regular university structure. How many courses you can take? Any number. How many exams you can write? Every day you can write two exams. There are three exam dates, one in March, two in um, April. So there are in total three exam days. Each day has got two, two exams. So there are in total six exam slots. So if you wish, you can actually write for six exams. Okay. Uh, I have already answered that, okay, if you have got, say, eight assignments to be considered for a 12 weeks course, and if you have not submitted that many at least numbers, in that case, we'll consider that if you have submitted only four assignments for a 12 weeks course, we'll consider that remaining four assignments, you have got zero and accordingly calculate the average score. If you are submitting the assignment, but not writing the exam this semester, and if you want to take this course, in the next semester, once it is offered, your these assignments course will not be carried forward. You have to start from fresh. If you do not use your same email ID, there is every possibility that you may not get the same exam center if you wish to write exams for two courses on the same day. Okay, these are the general queries uh, that we get. Let me take one or two questions. Uh, Sir, is the course free and we only have to pay for the examination? Yes. As I said, you can write from enrolling into the course to the course completion, except the certification. Everything is free, supported by the Ministry of Education. Only for the certification exam, you have to pay the fee. This was the question uh, asked by Serene, Serenity. Uh, sir, exam is conducted in online mode or offline mode that I have already answered. 
can i give exam from home no you have to actually go to the exam center and write the exam this is the answer from <coughs> teja sorry uh, vikran based on which topic assignments are prepared this is purely based on the weekly lectures delivered so you have given 2.5 hours of lecture if you study those lectures 2.5 hours of videos then you will be able to solve those assignment problems because these assignment questions are prepared from that 2.5 hours of lectures okay uh, reno baby you are asking may i know when you will have share feedback link uh, it has got nothing to do with me this has to be uh, taken care of by the organizers okay now you may definitely say that okay why should i do the mocks i uh, already i am overburdened with a lot of my courses for my uh, career uh, in a regular course but consider this is your career after doing these courses you will be utilizing the certificate that you get from the courses for your career opportunities is it that okay what certificates you get is adequate to serve your purpose think in the light of following few slides see what i see that okay maybe after uh, your graduation from this college you will be working in an industry you may go to uh, go and join some higher educational institution or if you have got some good idea business ideas you may translate into a business model so these are the three options that there is generally available to you what is the scenario if you complete your degree is it that is is it ensuring that you will be getting a job the report suggests otherwise if you see most uh, the most of the report says that a large number of engineering graduates are not suitable for employment across the country this is the general data there could be a debate like whether it is a 50% whether it is 80% different reports suggest otherwise but it clearly says definitely more than 50% engineering graduates are not suitable for employment in that case how do you prepare yourself what are the reasons why people might be failing what corrective actions can be taken by you once you are in the college you are in the vicinity you have got the support of your faculty members so is there any gap between what is needed by the industry what they are looking for and what you are getting in the college or what you are learning yourself college may be giving you full support but you are not picking up but again think your parents have invested heavily on you they have provided all support to you after fourth years of graduation if you are not gainfully employed in the industry how are you going to support uh, not only your family but yourself report suggests that very frequently because of the technological changes the way automation is taking place in the industry the knowledge what you gain today is not relevant beyond maybe 5 6 years so every after maybe 5 6 years there is a need to update your knowledge once you leave your college you will not have the support of your faculties who is going to teach you what you need you will have to break your head and learn the things that is required for you to remain competitive in the job market how are you going to learn see the report says that during 2020 to 2025 the report from world economic forum it says because of the larger number of automation taking place in the industry the human intervention the jobs which requires human intervention are gradually reducing it is reducing the so more automation takes place more number of uh, say uh, jobs that require human intervention will be diminishing 33 to 47% is the anticipation of automation increase resulting in the decrease of human intervention in jobs from 67 to 53 so there is an anticipation by the industry global industry leaders that 50% of the jobs will require 50% of the manpower will be requiring new knowledge so that they can serve the industry nascom you might have heard about those who are looking for jobs in the it sector or core sectors the federation of indian chamber of commerce and industry they carried out a survey and predicted that in 2017 they were anticipating by 2022 what is the going to be the change in the industry front this just studied the impact of the industry 4.0 implementation in five industries it sector banking financial sectors insurance sectors automobile retail apparel leather these are the areas they they just 
check the impact. And they felt that severe impact will be felt in IT sector and banking insurance sectors. Medium impact of technology will be felt in automobile retain and maybe lower in apparel and leather. How the impact will be in quantification? It, it says that 9% in 2017, they were saying that 9% jobs will be created in the areas that did not exist in 2017. That is within next five years, they were anticipating a severe change in the work plan. Okay, 37% jobs will be deployed in jobs, 37% newer jobs will be created that will require a different skill. And 54% jobs will maintain almost a status quo. Similar skill set will be required. Are we ready to face similar changes, challenges associated with such changes? It's primarily because of the industry 4.0, the fourth industrial evolution. We have seen over the past few centuries, industrial evolutions have come through, through use of steam engine, electricity and oil-based power, or electronics and information technology. We have gone for mechanization, mass production, automated production. Now we are in the era of fourth industrial revolution or industry 4.0. We hear these terminologies like internet of things, artificial intelligence, machine learning, robotics, drone, and so not, what not. Whether we are from engineering or any other discipline, we hear these all terminologies, okay. So is there a need that, okay, we really need to know all these technologies also? Yes. That's a report coming from the industry body suggests. We frequently see that robots have taken up the manufacturing se sector heavily. Most of the automobile industries are heavily depending on robots for the manufacturing of the, you can say production in the production line. Robots are also used in our day-to-day -day activities whether for delivery of foodstuffs or essential medicines to the COVID affected airports or use of robots in supply chain management or maybe uh, delivery of COVID vaccination to the remote areas. Okay, within a short span time, they should be able to transport the COVID vaccines from one point to the another point. So robots are also being used. We hear the terminology like smart factories, smart industries where you have got lot of sensor networks, uh, computing network, things are changing the very rapidly. So if our syllabuses are not updated, or maybe the way it is being updated, industry uh, demand is changing much more faster. So there is a need that we, if you want to get jobs in those sectors, we should explore all, all avenues. And one of the avenue is online certification programs from NPTEL or SOYAM. They are offering not only your core courses, but also courses from emerging areas. Can you explore the opportunity to utilize the initiative taken by the government of India? They're, they're spending a lot on this initiative. It's for your benefit. If you want to be competitive and know emerging areas, then you can take the help of the NPTEL courses also. Considering the requirement of the industry, even AICT, the higher education regulator of management and engineering education in the country, they have said that minor degrees can be offered from these areas like Internet of Things, Data Science, AI, Machine Learning, Cyber Security, Augmented Reality, Virtual Reality, Robotics, Blockchain, and these all things. So we find there is a continuous demand of data scientists, good programmers, cyber security experts, all these things as we move on to the more and more online mode. Okay. This was from job perspective. If you're looking for cracking gate examination, jam examination conducted by IITs or any other examination, someone was asking about the gist examination. So in that case, maybe the knowledge that you gather out of your regular syllabuses may not be adequate to do very well in the course or the examination. Since NPTEL offers a lot of courses aligning with your syllabuses, the core courses, you can also explore whether you can take the benefit of these courses in preparation of that. Many people take the path of attending some coaching centers, whether uh, your um, library resources, 
you can also use these resources as a valuable source for your knowledge. If you, are, if you have got a very good business idea, if you want to translate into a business model, you need to have a very good communication skill suit also that you convince your prospective in uh, what's called investors, convince them that, okay, if they pump in money, if they spend some money on you, in realizing your dream, they'll be getting good return. So you should have very good communication skill. You should build up your team. You should need to have a business strategy. There could be failures. How do you overcome that failure? Should have courage, risk-taking capability. So there are many capable, many uh, say expertise or knowledge is required to start the business event. Just having an idea is not enough. So there are many courses which are offered by NPTEL uh, on the entrepreneurship front. So maybe some of the students who have got some idea on this front and they want to start their own initiative can take the help of just to understand what lies ahead. How do they prepare for the job, uh, for the business model? Okay. Then the report also suggests that 50% weightage goes to your code skills and almost equal weightage goes for your soft skills in the interviews. Which are the skills that every employer looks for? It's a common skill irrespective of your branch. Is the problem solving, communication, active learning, resilience, flexibility. We are now talking about digital. Everything we do it on a digital front. So digital dexterity, analytical and critical thinking. No one will solve the problem for you. You will have to solve your, you have to come out your own solution. So until and unless you develop all these skills it may be difficult for you to, to crack the exam in the final phase. There are many NPTEL courses which are targeting to train you on this. Not only that, NPTEL also conducts regular workshops so that you know what are your shortcomings, how do you overcome with that, how do you prepare a better resume, how do you get connected to the employers, to different social networking medias. We try to train you on this front also. So NPTEL also addresses your soft skill requirements. Now you have done a course, whether it's a core course or an elective course or a course from the emerging area. But if you want to focus on a, developing an expertise from a particular domain, that is, you want to become a data scientist. It's not that you do only a data science course. You need to do a set of courses. You may not know that which are the set of courses that you should do to become an expert in that area. NPTEL is there to guide you that, okay, if you want to develop your career in this area, maybe you can take this set of courses, complete maybe three or four core courses, three or four elective courses within a period of three years timeline with an average score of 60%. If you can complete that, we offer you a domain certificate. We consider that you are an expert, you have got adequate knowledge to call yourself as an or say that you have got expertise in that area. So currently we have got 12 engineering disciplines, engineering or major disciplines that includes humanities, social science, management, basic science disciplines from where we have uh, created the domains. And these are the domains, aerospace, biotech, chemical, civil, faculty, humanities, social science, management, mathematics. The domain names are already mentioned here. Okay, so you can actually go to the domains like here, if you just see NPTEL domain certification, it will take you to nptel.ac.in slash noc slash domain. Here, if you want to know more about the domains, just click which are the areas. Say you are looking for a management discipline. Click onto the management discipline. It has got domain expertise on marketing operations, minor, managerial economics, economy. Suppose you are looking for the domain expertise on the economics, which are the courses? You have to take the courses in such a way that you have got at least 60 weeks of learning. Which are the courses? You have to do three core courses. There are options, either this course or this course. If the course is available for offering during this time, then it is also shown that this you can enroll it now. So there are three core courses and you have to complete three elective courses. You can go to the course page directly from here, enrollment page from here. Okay.
on completion of the domain certification, you will given a certificate. The condition is that starting to end is three years, 60 weeks of learning. You can take a combination of four weeks, eight weeks, 12 weeks, but the total duration should be at least six weeks and you'll be meeting the requirement of core courses and elective courses. The average score, 60%. Individual course code should not fall below 55. That is the minimum requirement. Many domain scholars are there. This is not updated. I'll share the updated data a little later. If you are looking for the gate preparation, definitely you can utilize the services of NPTEL. Uh, it offers you a uh, gate platform. See, if you go to nptel.ac.in, here you have got a connectivity called gate preparation. Click onto the gate preparation. It will take you to this side. Here, if you are someone from the electrical engineering department was inquiring how to take the help of NPTEL in gate preparation. There are two options. One is syllabus mapping. If you are looking, for, you are from a particular discipline and if you want to take help of NPTEL courses from that discipline or preparation of core courses of that discipline, click onto the syllabus mapping it will, the person was from electrical engineering. So you can select here electrical engineering. It will, from the drop down. it will give you the list of core courses that are applicable for GET syllabus from that particular discipline. Select, say, suppose you are talking about power electronics, select the subtopic from here, power electronics. Then based on, say, you are looking for the thyristor, restart, click onto the video link, the video will open from here. So that is how the complete gate syllabus is mapped to the NPTEL courses. If you are looking for say, not syllabus centric, but uh, syllabus centric, but uh, looking for say, you are trying to solve the previous question papers. We have given a video option also. Here you can select the video option, select electronics and communication engineering, select the year or topic, year suppose EC 2021, then you have got options and the particular question, how it has been solved in a video, that is also link is given. So that is how NPTEL is helping the GATE aspirants to identify the video courses that will help in the preparation of the core courses. Okay. Credit transfer, we, uh, are also working with the industry, auto, sorry, universities and autonomous colleges so that they can take these courses for credit transfer. UGC says that 14 hours of learning is equivalent to one credit. Considering a 10 hour course will require at least 10 hours of study of the video. That means 10 hours spent and at least one hour will be required to solve the assignment problems. Taking these two components alone, the uh, candidate will be completing 14 hours of learning in a course. So these 14 hours means we say the 10 hour course is equivalent to one credit. If the, however, there are other components as you know, that okay, you have got uh, supplementary study materials, interaction in the forum. So considering all these things, there is a flexibility. You can add additional components also, additional one or two extra credits. That's how many of the universities have already taken three credit courses as equivalent to four or five credit courses. Now UGC has approved that, okay, up to 40% of the credits per semester can be taken from uh, Swayam link courses. And since NPTEL is under Swayam, so any NPTEL course is actually a Swayam course. So any so NPTEL course can be taken to fit into this 40% credit requirement in a semester. UGC has approved that, sorry, EICT has given that, okay, 20% credits can be taken from here. In addition to that, additional 20% credit from SOAM will allow the person to get either a minor degree or a BTEC honors degree from EICT affiliated colleges. The university can take a call on that. Credit transfer process is that universities will look for the courses that are currently available uh, for that, which are the courses currently available and pipeline for offering during the next semester, please go to nptl.ac.in slash NOC, NPTEL online. Here you can see here semester information. Click onto the semester information. Suppose your university is looking for credit transfer for the next semester. Click on January, sorry, July, 2022. 
it will give you the july 2022 timelines when you are starting our courses also that entity course list we can definitely look for these courses which are already scheduled that okay these courses will be uh, offered in addition to that we will be adding few more courses in the coming days so the university can actually look for these course list from here identify the courses that they want to take whether it's a core course elective course or a pastoral type of course finalize on the grade transfers mechanism whether the exam will be conducted by them the candidate will take the course from here take the exam there or maybe they'll take the exam here and the grade will be taken either as it is or they may scale it up considering that the grades obtained by the uh, students in nptel should be scaled suitably say by 1.1 1.2 percentage because they may consider that okay iit's grading is little tougher so they should be suitably modified so they have got to decide on that okay then notify the students like how they are uh, going to implement it which are the courses that will be available for the students in the next semester for credit transfer okay now here our suggestion is that if you can give a list of courses from there the students are given the option to choose the course it becomes easy and it's possible that all students may not be able to take the courses so it should not be mandatory also that's our feeling is that okay since nptel does not conduct any supplementary exam so there should be a clear cut maybe policy decision taken at the university in case a final student year student takes a course and he he doesn't clear the course then how do they get the certificate final degree certificate in that case there should be a mechanism how to conduct the exam since nptel doesn't conduct supplementary exam okay it's not that universities are only taking these courses for credits iit madras iit kanpur iit roorkee iit palakkad iit tirupati and iit madras iit bombay has already approved credit transfer for their students iit kharagpur has already implemented it for the working professionals entering the institutes phd program now this was as far as the program running is concerned if a student does well in the into the course what are the benefits given to the students internship is an important component whether they work under um, uh, in industry or maybe a good institute see if you are doing very well in a course in nptel we try to provide you some internship support what do we do the top scorers the toppers of the course are actually communicated by nptel that okay if you are interested you have to apply to nptel internship program for nptel internship program to this email id with your copy of resume and last two semester date sheet this will be passed on to the faculty if the faculty is convinced then they will select maybe two candidates per course and give a consent to conduct the uh, internship during either summer or winter when iits have got their vacation okay the duration of internship could be 2 to 8 weeks 2 weeks 4 weeks 6 weeks or 8 weeks during this period the fact the student will be coming into iit and working under the faculty or the research group okay after they complete the this thing um, internship they will submit a report to nptel every first day they will be reporting to the nptel office local nptel office then they will be directed to the concerned faculty they will be working there at the end they will have to submit the report to nptel office okay duly signed by the faculty depending on the duration of the course the student or the intern will be given a financial assistance to the tune of 2500 to 10000 depending on the duration 2500 for 2 weeks 4 weeks 5000 for 6 weeks 7500 for 8 weeks 10000 rupees this will not be given in the beginning at the end once they complete the course then on submission of the report they will be reimbursed this amount for accommodation we will try to make an arrangement so that you can accom be accommodated within the iit hostels in case it is not available you have to make your own arrangement to stay in the campus or outside the campus as the case may be so in the and the post internship you get a certificate you get stipend reimbursed to you and your name will be displayed on to the internship portal this is how a internship certificate will look like 
Okay. Then in addition to this, the top scorers or the based on your association with NPTEL, number of courses you are doing over a period of time and your performance, the NPTEL toppers are also recognized. Like that, you do a set of courses from a particular domain, you get domain scholar, or if you do maybe uh, take uh, say four, five, six exams and top are in at least three exams, we call it NPTEL superstar or NPTEL evangelist, motivated learners, enthusiast, discipline stars or believers. <clears throat> Depending on how many courses you have taken over the last few semesters and what was your performance. These top parts are recognized, their names and photographs are displayed onto the portal. We'll be starting a new portal from tomorrow, the 26th, there will be inauguration of a new portal. You will find the toppers from these all groups. Their photographs are displayed onto the portal nicely. Okay. Also, we try to provide some mementos, maybe a t-shirt or pens are sent to them uh, from the NPTEL office at Madras. NPTEL star learners, you can see the numbers are gradually increasing every semester. During July to December 2021, we had 113 domain scholars and other categories are also displayed here. We conduct the employability assessment, uh, understand the weakness on the communication front, help the students in better resume building, get connected to the, um, say, network, social networking so that they can find job opportunities through different soft skill trainings, which are of two duration, two different modes. One is a shorter version for a week's time. During this time, we try to call a group, uh, maybe interact with a group of 10 people on a one-to-one -one basis. We try to assess their employability perspective, tell them what are their shortcomings, uh, conduct the group interviews, mock interviews, spoken English tests. these are conducted. These are for seven days duration. And who are the people, uh, not seven days, one week duration. And who are the people who are admitted? Primarily the meritorious students, the toppers, course toppers, and uh, the students from the tier two, tier three colleges. If a college is from tier, from tier two and tier three, small cities, then if they are interested to join into this program, they can write to us uh, for necessary help in this regard. And then there is a longer duration variation also, for about two weeks time, 20 hours of training program, 20 students per month are invited there. Pre-training, post-training, online mock interviews are conducted, same employability assessment test, com communication skill, writing skill, resume building. They're given talks on that by the experts, how to develop their interpersonal skills and importance of social networking in the context of job search. These are the areas that are focused on that. You know, in addition to that, in addition to the lecture, they are also given everyday assignment so that they can, students can actually at the end of the day work on that and come back with the assignment and have a discussion on the next day. Okay, so it's a very useful program for them and uh, it's a minimum 80% attendance is required to get a participation certification in this program. And after doing these course, the students have notified that how they have benefited, we'll show you the data. In addition to the soft skill workshop, we also conduct in-person lab workshop also. That is, for a week's time, the students will be coming to IITs or any other institution, uh, identified the IITs, and they will be undergoing a lab session for five days, and at the end, they'll be attending an examination, and if they qualify into the exam, they'll be given a certificate. Okay. Such lab certification courses are, uh, courses are also conducted by IIT for different courses. It's not that the students who are attending the courses, you can find uh, as young as 10 to 15 age group students are also there, as well as the senior citizen group people, but young at heart, um, who, are, who are keen to learn the newer things from the age group of 86, 90 people are also there. So we have a complete spectrum from very young to very senior people who are attending the courses. And it's not that they are doing only one or two courses. You find there are people, um, if you see from here, <coughs> there are quite, quite a good number of people who have done more than 20 courses in NPTEL. And there are a few people who are attending six courses every semester also. There's a 
maximum uh, 47 courses has been done by one, one candidate who is currently a scientist in DRDO. Okay, you can see it's not that students are only doing these courses, more number of courses. But definitely the members leads the table and also uh, people from the industry body also doing this for reskilling or upscaling purposes. Um, after doing these NPTEL courses, many people have got the benefit. IIT NPTEL provided the recruitment opportunities for 64 candidates in various industries. You can see the name Infosys, Capgemini, Tejas Network, Willy Matri. And also after soft skill training, students confirmed that they got jobs in below mentioned companies that are for TCS, uh, you can say Infosys, HCL, IBM, as well as core companies like l and electrical automation and all. Okay, so it's quite beneficial NPTEL courses. The initiatives taken by NPTEL on soft skill, lab certification, they are very beneficial for the job market. For the faculties, those who are doing these elective courses and maybe courses from the emerging areas, which are identified by uh, AICT as FDP courses, as per the MOU signed by NPTEL and AICT, the faculty members can get two certificates, one on completion of the course from NPTEL, course certificate, and also get a FDP certificate if they uh, need so, and during the exam registration, if they pay 100 additional rupees. This is how NPTEL's FDP certificate will look like. Uh, it's a name, your course that you have attended, consolidated score. It will be duly signed by the NPTEL coordinator and AICT representative. FDP certificates are recognized for a particular duration. A four week course will be considered as equivalent to half FDP of one week. A full week FDP is considered for eight weeks course and a 12 week course will be considered as one and a half weeks FDP. We also invite industry professionals, um, experts from the industry, experts from the career guidance sales, so that they can guide you, guide the students on different career initiatives and tell what is expected from that. If they want to start a career path in say journals or a mass communication, or maybe uh, Indian administrative service or police service or film animation, what are the things that they should keep in mind? So we invite career guidance experts and also we invite the experts from in the industry who will be talking on the what do they expect from different career professionals and how industry is moving from uh, say present status to the new emerging areas. So these experts uh, say, you can say your, these informations are captured to different workshops. This is available, you can see here, resources, special lecture series, you can find it here, what all lectures have been carried out. We have more carried out more than 250 lectures, archive lectures are available here. The students may be motivated to go to these lecture series and access this. You can see it's from Capgemini, Texas University, Standard Charter. All experts have been invited and they have delivered the lectures. Okay. So this lecture repository can be given access to the students or invited. Currently, we have got more than 4,500 local chapters spread across length and breadth of the country with whom we are working. Uh, fortunately, both the institutes who are offering the, who are organizing the program, they are local chapters today. We have got local chapters outside the country also. And for the local chapters within the country, we conduct the exams in TCS approved exam centers in more than 200 cities across the country. But for the uh, local chapters who are outside the country, we are conducting the exams currently at Dubai, Abu Dhabi, Sharjah in the same mode. Uh, in some cases, we have also started the internet based assessment. Um, we have also started working with partners in Columba and Jaffa, and maybe in the coming days, we will be offering the certification exam in other parts of the globe also. In recognition of the performance of the students from a local chapter college, we rate the colleges. Top 100 colleges are recognized and they are felicitated by NPTEL during the journal workshop that we carry out after every semester. So 
in this uh, recognition the maximum of weightage is given for toppers that is strain weightage is given for the toppers then subsequently the least weightage is given for the number of candidates who are enrolling so based on the say different ratings that we calculate the top 100 uh, colleges are rated as triple a double a or a top 10 colleges will be rated as triple a 11 to 50 the 40 colleges will be rated as double a and 51 to 100 colleges that's remaining 50 colleges will be rated as a okay in addition to these colleges like one of the college today who is organizing this is an art science college so maybe they will have lesser number of students but again there are many colleges who are within the top 100 but they are from not from engineering curriculum but they are actually from general science art science colleges so to recognize the efforts of those colleges also we have got different other categories like like art science college category if they are within top 100 or outside top 100 also we recognize best new local chapters who are doing very well if the faculty participation in and from a local chapter is very high then we also recognize that college so based on different parameters not only on the performance basis but also number of faculties the performance we rate the colleges and if the college is rated consistently for over a few few semester that they are within top 100 we also recognize this colleges as lc star colleges okay this is the recognition for the colleges the local chapter spsc of these colleges are also recognized with a special certificate okay uh, with this i think i'll stop my presentation here uh, there is there is an option called nptel translation also if uh, that is each nptel uh, lecture is translated into multiple regional languages if some of you are interested you can join back to us um in this initiative and if you are having competency or proficiency in any of these languages to convert the english languages into these equivalent bengali gujarati hindi kannada malayalam marathi tamil telugu odia and all these all languages you can join in this initiative and on recognition of your services your names will be reflected in the uh, you can say the booklet that will be created as well as there will be some financial compensation also in this we are connected to the all stakeholders through our different social media accounts uh, like facebook instagram youtube community we are distributing our videos with this i'll just stop my presentation if you have got any doubt uh, please uh, you may raise the queries i have tried to give all the answers that were available in the or posted in the portal i don't see any other questions over to the uh, dr pooja uh thank you das sir thank you das sir for such an informative session you have given us an insight about nptel courses their benefits and future prospects you have taken up all the minor details about nptel courses all the queries about nptel courses one can have i'm sure our students as well as faculty members will greatly benefit from this workshop workshops like this go a long way in helping us students to take up various online courses to enhance their future prospects once again i would like to thank you and thank you nptel team dr satish dr nisha thank you so much thank you all the past participants for having patience thank you thank you studio team may kindly stop the um, stream Das sir, I have a question. Yes, yes. Can I ask you one question? Uh, uh, sir, actually, uh, the basic problem in our MP is that we have a maximum population is Hindi speaking, and most of the courses in NPTEL they are you know English based. So our students find you know a little bit difficulty in understanding these courses sometimes. So uh, is there any you know? solution to this so that's what i'm saying that we understand Thank many you. of the students not only your college even uh, say colleges few colleges my state west bengal or odisha or any other state we will have some students who might have not studied in english medium schools and they are quite scared of that yes okay. 
So if they, if you want to uh, take them to the NPTEL four, maybe they they understand. They can read the English. They can follow the English text, but may not be the spoken part. They may have definitely difficulty. Many of the NPTEL courses which are created little earlier are being offered in a rerun. Okay, and for most of these rerun courses, you'll find. the text transcript the way say i am talking the same wordings are written in the text format that is available to you so maybe it's a good idea if you can actually take the help of those i'll also show you maybe i'll share the slide uh, once again to take you some of these courses where some of these lectures have been converted into multiple indian languages if possible in the beginning stage you can actually expose some of these courses whose transcription is available in even in hindi okay in the initial stage you actually encourage the students to take one or two courses whose transcription is available in hindi or at least in english let them be comfortable let them understand how nptel courses are offered once they are confident in that they they build up a confidence and they can slowly pick up the language see tomorrow whether they are working in the hospitality sector it sector or any other sector it is the english which will be the main mode of communication so there is no way they can shy away from learning the language yes we can only help them to understand the lecture or the content as well as build up the vocabulary what english speaking skill you can help them there are many english language courses basic english spoken uh, courses expose them on those courses okay and also yes. take the courses whose transcriptions in multiple or courses are translated in hindi maybe initially they will join into the course take one or two courses from the basic english they are now familiar with the process then slowly may not be for the credit transfer but for learning or developing the competency they can be expected to join some courses where too much of mathematics is not there you know their level so identify a course which will be easier on them and also help the student by assigning them a mentor if you identify a faculty from your college i know there are few colleges even in west bengal they know their students limitation what they do they might have selected a particular time slot within the time table where the faculty is actually discussing on the subject with the mentors uh, mentee students what the problem they are facing yes in your regular class also you will find if there are 100 students maybe hardly five students will be raising the hand and asking the question people will be shy away okay they may feel that okay if i ask something what people will think this is a platform which is anonymous we are not going to see you is writing please encourage your students to write it in the anonymous forum if they have got any doubt let them post it we don't mind whether they, they write it with proper english or there are some certain mistakes we are not going to look into the grammatical aspect of it so until and unless you encourage them on writing that one see tomorrow if someone is joining in the industry whether it is in a hotel whether it is in it sector or port sector they will always be communicating through emails they really need to express even they want to apply for a leave they have to express the reason how do they develop that competence your regular curriculum does not stress on that maybe it's a good idea after going through the course even if they have a very silly idea or problem encourage them to post it into the forum so that they at least overcome their what is called fear the fear psychosis will go off so select the course that has got text transcription done translation done maybe initiate translation done in hindi that may help assign some mentor so that local teacher is available encourage them to follow the uh, say forum ask them to write it 
wrong english no problem let them write in hindi no one will mind it we understand that everyone is not coming from a particular background so that's how i can slowly actually overcome the difficulties of the student that's my solution yes sir thank you so much thank you so much sir okay nisha ma'am can we leave the meeting yes ma'am okay